Welcome again uh, to Sami's A plus learning. Um, we're going to try to factor this equation right here. And as you know, and as you see here, there's a leading coefficient in front of the x squared. So this may, makes the, the factoring a little bit more difficult than if you didn't have the leading coefficient. So what you learned in school most likely is decomposition, but what I'm going to show you right now is something completely different than decomposition. Once you learn it, it's a lot faster. So if writing tests and exams, you'll go through the questions maybe a little bit faster than decomposition. So what do we do with this method here? The first thing we do, we multiply the three into the negative 10 right here. And we rewrite the equation as x squared minus x minus 30. But this three that I multiplied into here, I have to come back to it later. Now, what I want you to know though, this equation and this equation, they're not equal, they're not the same. So they don't balance out. This is only a shortcut, a method that we use just so, so we're able to factor this without doing decomposition. But again, this equation and this equation, they're not the same at all. Got. So now let's go back to this. Let's factor this. So that's simple factoring, where you're looking, you put in an x here, an x there, and you're looking for two numbers that multiply to give you negative 30 and add to give you a negative one. And obviously that's negative six plus five. So once you factor this, now we got to come back to this three that we multiplied into the 10 there. So what I do, I take the three here, I divide the six by three and I divide the five by three. And this will factor into x minus two, because six divided by three is two, but here the five doesn't divide by three. So all I need to do is just take this three here and stick it right in front of the x there. So that will give me three x plus five. And that's as simple as this method is. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, use it. It will save you a lot of time writing tests and exams. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.